but they may be able to get to it. They can't. It splashed it out there. Carney Lansford is being waved home. We may have a play. It's going to be close. He makes it. He never did really kick it in full gear going around the bases. Just before we went away for that delay, we had told you about the radical defense the White Sox had. They played their center fielder over in right center on Canseco. We couldn't believe it. And he hits the ball right in that hole. And there he goes, Fisk inside, and the pitch is down the middle of the plate. Now watch Johnson, the center fielder. He's way over in right center. Watch him slip about right here. See all the water splashing? That didn't help him to get the ball in. Carlin Lansford just now reaching third. He doesn't know if he's going to be sent or not, but here's the throw from Oz again. It's high, and I just don't think that these guys came out and were ready to play after this 15-minute delay. I tell you what, a good throw right there from a strong-arm shortstop would have gotten him. Guillen had... Gets that one in the air to right field pretty deep. Can Seiko back, turning around. He can't get it. He falls down. Two runs are going to score. White Sox lead it three to one. Jose was looking all around for that ball and couldn't get his proper footing. Well, you mentioned the wind blowing in from right field, and this Thomas, a lot of power, going the opposite field with it. Canseco goes back, has a side of it, looking for the wall, then picked it up and the wind got it. And then, of course, the turf got him. He caught that ball if he didn't fall down. Yep. Because he's coming back, and right there he slips on the grass. Oh, this is a joke. We'll be having another game here tomorrow night. We will not televise. Mike Moore pitches against uh, Charlie Huff tomorrow night. Who goes for the first pitch, fouls it over our head. Henderson rips it down the line in right field, just foul. Now he may be going for a stretcher here. Barry Weinberg's talking. And yeah, it looks like he's talking back. I hope he is. He's got a broken nose. But that's small compared to being hit in the head with a fastball going about 95. He's pinching him into various limbs to make sure that he's got feelings in all four places. Watching a pro at work right there, and Barry Wilkin is red hot right here. And Seiko's been standing there all the time, right between the A's and the White Sox players. He's inviting one of them to come in there. Oh, my goodness. That's scary, isn't it, Ray? Yes, it is. Watch Wakamatsu set up on the inside part of the plate. And big pin. Watch yeah. Terry turn his head. Wow. Turn his head. And fortunately, with the flap, we talked about Tim Raines last night not wearing the flap on his helmet. But Steinbach fortunately has this flap. You'll see him turn it away, trying to get his shoulder up. Ooh. And hit it right in the flap. Now Ricky Henderson is having to be held out of a conflict here. Jose Canseco is telling his White Sox players they better get out of here. We're going to have something going on here real fast. We've got it going now. And here comes Dave Stewart out of the A's dugout. This one started on the way to first base. Ricky Henderson was... Yelling something out. And it was Scott Fletcher who at second base when it started. I tell you, Jose Canseco has got whoever number five is, Matt Morello, and he is hammering on him. Now, how are they going to sort this thing out? Jose was standing all the time they were at home plate, sort of as the guy between the White Sox and the A's players. Now there's La Russa. Look at him. He's pointing right at Carlton Fisk, who was not even in the game. But you know what he's saying? He said, you've been calling the fastballs inside last night. You thought it again tonight. And you take a chance. You have to pitch inside, but it's the location. 
And when you start getting above the shoulders, that's when it gets serious. Dave Stewart, who was back in the dressing room when this whole thing started, and probably fist too. I tell you who was the first guy who made contact with the White Sox player, and that was the rooster. Rick Burleson. He's the guy who ran out there and made the first contact. I'm to call and say, wait a minute, what's going on here? I hope somebody got that guy right there in this whole thing. He lost his glove. Got his cap. Now he was down in the dirt, you can tell that. Well, I don't think I've ever seen Canseco that mad. I wouldn't have wanted to. Now the umpires are going to have to have a huddle here, Ray, and sort this whole thing out. Well, Tony was upset after the ball game and before, after ball game last night and before tonight's ball game. They caused the pitching inside. We're in the top of the ninth. There are two A's runners on and two down. There will be some White Sox players with their feet in the air before the series is over. I'll tell you that. There's a drive. Stay in there. It's foul. A little looper out into right field. Base hit. Here comes Blankenship. Justice has been served, and the A's have runners at second and third as they take a five to four lead. And with that base hit in RBI, Dennis Eckersley gets up very quickly down in the A's bullpen. But Jamie Quirk, who came out visibly upset when Terry Steinbach was hit, delivers a base hit after tying the ball game with a home run. There's a strike. Electric on third and second. Strike two. Here's a drive to right center field. Walt Weiss has killed one. Absolutely killed it. He's got a double. He's going to try for three. They missed their relay man. It's a triple for Walt Weiss. And the A's lead seven to four. The incident. A bunt. And that's going to be a base hit. I think. Oh, he got him. Great play by Ventura. Had it in this last week. Vance Law chasing it near the stands. He got him, and there's one down here tonight. Right through Eckers' leg. Wise made a dive and couldn't come up with it. Stay away from it. With a fastball and goodbye, Frank Thomas. Oh, he had him set up for that one, didn't he? Wasn't even going to think about wasting a pitch. He put a tape on that baby. Oh, and two count. Eck one strike away from a sensational win for the A's. Just missed it, and the runner took second base. Ooh. Back fly ball, right center field. The A's are going to win this one. Anderson's got it, and the A's win. What a ball game. Well, that's going to wrap up an exciting night at the old ballpark in Chicago tonight. We hope you'll join us for our next televised game. That'll be Monday afternoon. Steinbach, drilled by Bobby Thigpen. You may recall two years ago in spring training, he had his jaw broken. Another look here, hit by a 90-plus fastball, fastball taken off the field on a stretcher. Was having x rays done at the hospital the time this show went out. Minutes later, the upset A's erupt. Ricky Henderson, Jose Canseco charge the field. And emotions take over. Jose Canseco and Matt Murillo, check it out at the top of your screen there. Get into a wrestling match. Meanwhile, Carlton Fisk and his former manager, Tony LaRusso, have words. LaRusso would later be ejected. Oh, yeah, what about the ball game? Well, they scored a total of 11 runs. In the ninth, Little Jamie Quirk, right who had a home run Please earlier hit. in the contest, hits the single to right swing. Lance Blankenship ahead of Sammy Sosa's throw, and the A's pull it out. Now, A's manager after the game, A's manager Tony La Russa, 
was involved in a heated argument with an Associated Press reporter. That reporter was asked to leave. Eventually, all reporters were asked to leave the A's locker room. We hope to have this for you a little bit later in the show, the line of questioning. I don't want to talk about that whole Okay, don't yell at me. I'll f*** you if I want you. Get out of your back, too. Well, get the f*** out of there. Well, that f***ing review's over. Get on full of that. Be a man. Be a man. The goddamn man's on the f***ing island. The goddamn man's on the f***ing island. Get out of here. Excuse me. You've got about that much sense as a f***ing bunch of kiddos just born. Well, don't take care of it. Make sense of it. I'm not going to lock it. Get out of here. 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 Tied it for staring Terry Steinbach at the plate. Oh, Holy God, that hit him in the head. Take another look at it. Steinbach tries to get out of the way, but it hits him in the flap. He would have to be carted off the field and taken to the hospital for observation. No word yet but obviously conscious, and that was the good news. Minutes later, the A's still upset. Ricky Henderson wants a piece of everyone. Jose Canseco trying to play the peacemaker at first, and then he gets into it with Matt Marullo. They get into the wrestling match. Look at the top part of your screen, tossing each other around. Carlton Fisk, whose former manager was Tony La Russa when he was with the White Sox, they exchanged words, and it would be that kind of night for Tony La Russa. More on that later. Jamie Quirk at the plate in the ninth. Sends this one out to right field. Lance Blankenship coming in. Sosa with the throw, but he's in there sliding in, and the A's win a wild one. Three runs in the ninth inning. Seven to four was the final in the contest. Alex Fernandez actually retired 18 straight batters before giving up a home run to Quirk. He had a solo home run and drove in that run. Two runs batted in. Weiss also drove in two. But following the game, A's manager Tony La Russa had a clash with AP reporter Bob Glass when Glass asked about the Steinbach beanie. I don't want to talk about that whole all right? Okay, well, don't yell at me. I'll f you yell if I want you. Get out of your back, too. Well, get the f out of there. Well, that f the interview's over. Get on full of that. Be a man. Be a man. The goddamn man's on the f***ing island. The goddamn man's on the f***ing island. You've got about that much sense as a bunch of kiddos just born. Don't you ever bring your ass back in here.